I do not know the exact date of birth, of arrival to the island. He hardly ever spoke except to give commands. Most nights he was nowhere to be found. I would walk the empty rooms crying for him or go out into the road. Once a woman saw me on the bridge and brought me home. After, my father tied me to my bed with rope. He lost all his money three times, burnt down our shop, the dogs trapped below a galvanised roof. He gave me an orange and we drove off. He had a cousin across the river, a waterfall cascaded on the road, and my father carried me over. He got married the first time in Mocho, but I cannot recall the lady's name, only that she was nearly white. Her father was McCormick. They had a baby, and her name was Gloria. We opened a new shop, had bare shells for months. We slept in the back with Linda Bloomfield. I heard them in the night. I can't recall if they were married. He went to Kingston for days to play Mahjong, pay gal, came home angry, beat me with his belt. I can still recall the smell of him, of sweetness and liquor. He had children in villages all over. He got married to Benella. I saw babies and never saw them again. I saw a baby called Zita, my sister. I held her. Last time I saw him, he begged me for money. He was smaller. The time before, I'd held his gun to his head while he slept, but I didn't pull the trigger. He died in 1963 or 64, I can't remember. <laughs>